In this video, we are going to solve a system of simultaneous equations consisting of three equations and three variables. They have given us a problem out here. The equilibrium condition for three markets is given by these are the three equations. Uh, using Kramer's rule, find equilibrium price for each market. In the solution, first of all, we will write what is given. They have given system of simultaneous equations. These are the three equations to find the equilibrium price for each market that is P1, P2 and P3. Let us rewrite the system of simultaneous equations in matrix form. This is the coefficient matrix. What are the coefficients? 11, minus 1. We must be very careful with the sign attached to the coefficient in a system of simultaneous equation. Next, it is also minus 1. Next, minus 1. Next, 6 next minus 2 next minus 1 next minus 2 and 7 what are the variables the variables are p1 p2 and p3 what are the constant terms the constant terms are 31 26 and 24 let us name the coefficient matrix the variable vector and the constant term vector by a x and d now the first thing we need to do is we need to find the, the determinant of the coefficient matrix A. In the same studio. After finding the determinant of the coefficient matrix A, next, in order to find P1, we need to replace the first column in the coefficient matrix by the elements present in the constant term vector. Let us do. Next, in order to find the value of P2, we need to replace the second column in the coefficient matrix by the elements present in the constant term vector, that, that is, these elements. Let us do. Next, in order to find the value of P3, we need to replace the elements present in the third column of the cofactor matrix by the elements present in the constant term vector. That is this. Let us do. The next step involves finding the determinant of each matrix that is determinant of A1, A2 and A3. Let us first find the determinant of A1.
So we have completed finding the determinant of matrix A1. Next, we need to find the determinant of matrix A2. Ideas of economists and political philosophers, both when they are right and when they are wrong, are more powerful than is commonly understood. Indeed, the world is ruled by little else. Practical men who believe themselves to be quite exempt from any intellectual influence are usually the slaves of some defunct economist. So we have completed finding the determinant of matrix A2. Next, we need to find the determinant of matrix A3. In the same studio. Concession. Have a seat, and I'll school you in one simple lesson. Boom, 1929, the big crash. We didn't bounce back, economies in the trash. Persistent unemployment, the result of sticky wages. Waiting for recovery, that's outrageous. I had a real plan, any fool can understand. The advice, real simple, who's that you get the man? C, I, G, all together gets to Y. Keep that total grow and watch the economy fly. fly. We've been going back and forth for a century. So we have completed finding the determinant of matrix A3. Now in order to find the value of P1, we need to divide the determinant of A1 by the determinant of the original matrix A. Determinant of A1 is 1604. The determinant of the original coefficient matrix is 401. In order to find the value of P2, we need to divide the determinant of matrix A2 by uh, the determinant of the coefficient matrix that is 401. In order to find the value of P3, we need to divide 
the determinant of matrix A3 by the determinant of uh, the original coefficient matrix. So if we divide 1604 by 401, we have 4. Next, if we divide 2807 by 401, we get 7. If we divide 2406, 2406 by 401, we have 6. Finally, we have to write down. Therefore, the equilibrium price for each market are P1 is equal to 4, P2 is equal to 7, and P3 is equal to 6. So, if you substitute the value of P1, P2, and P3 in the given system of equations, the left-hand side will be equal to the right-hand side. Therefore, in this manner, a common solutions of P1, P2, and P3 are found for each equations in this given problem.